Hey guys, we're looking at the outdoor units now. I forgot to get that earlier. Um, so there's two outdoor units here. We're doing the one on the right. Um, we're also going to do a second return drop. It's going to be an easy straight drop, 12 by 26 by 85 and a quarter with a five inch media cabinet for that one too. Hey, what's up guys? We're at Todd's house. We're going to do a furnace replacement as well as an air conditioner. We'll pull this furnace out, set our new one back down in the same location. Return drop there is going to get replaced. It just goes up into panning up in the ceiling. New coil on top of the furnace. Flue pipe's going to get replaced all the way to this T. This T is pretty chewed up, so we'll do a six by five by or a five by four by three swivel T. Rebuild back down into both the water heater and the furnace. Um, furnace is really destroyed. That T is pretty gone too. So let's get all that cleaned up. Refrigerant lines will just flush and pressure test. Gas line, we may need to do something with that. Um, there's a shutoff valve there and then it runs back down to the furnace um, in copper with a bunch of flared fittings. I really don't like those flared fittings, so if we can rebuild that in track pipe, that would be great. Um, or if you guys want to press it on with our new pressing tools, we can practice with that as well. Um, humidifier will just get reinstalled. We'll put a new one back here on the, on the new system. We can probably just mount it straight to the side of the coil here in front. Drain lines run to the floor drain right here. Electrical is all up to code, runs up to the ceiling here and into that conduit box. And a filter cabinet will go in next to the system. There's a drain line that goes into the floor drain right here. I don't think it goes to anything. Um, we should be able to fit our 5-inch media cabinet in next to that. That's it.